What is going on guys? How's your day going? Um, I have a brand new video here. I'm going to be showing you guys how to root the Nexus 6P. Um, it's very simple. Probably the easiest phones to ever root. Except for the Android 5.0.1. That was literally the easiest method you can do because you can basically get the king root off any browser and just root from there. Um, so I will be showing you guys how to root it. Very simple. Um, all you're going to need is king root. Uh, actually, sorry, not king root. Nexus root toolkit. Now this is, I love Nexus because of this. You can literally simply root your Nexus device with this tool. You don't need to install any um, files. All the files are installed on this program for your root. It's very simple, easy to use, and I enjoy it. And I've always loved Nexus devices, so I, I choose Nexus 6 Alright guys, let's get on with the video. So now, if you guys don't know how to install your drivers, that's basically the first step you guys are going to have to do is install your drivers. Now, Installing drivers, of course, so there's no issues with your phone while rooting. I will show you guys how to install the drivers. Um, simply connect your USB Type-C cord to your Nexus 6P and, act and make sure it's connected. If it's not connected, just play around with the ports. It should connect. Once it's connected, open your Nexus uh, root toolkit. Now, again, I will have this in the description to download if you guys don't know how to download it. Um, now, once you go through the setup, it's going to ask you to for a shortcut on the PC, whatever, blah, 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 just continue, and so on. So once it's open, it's going to say Full Driver Installation Guide. Now, this automatically downloads it if your drivers are not downloaded on your computer correctly. This will do it all by itself. So you're going to, full, you're going to click this. And now it's going to give you steps, blah, blah, blah. You guys can read it, but I already know what I'm doing. So you'd go to step four, uh, step three, sorry. And here are the Google drivers. Now, very simple. Just um, click the Google drivers. It's going to say automatically, automatic device solution information, Google drivers. This will fully automatic install drivers, blah, 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 ADB fast boot. Now this is what we want. We're going to simply press OK, and it's going to bring us to the setup for the drivers. Click Next, and you guys are, if it's not installed for you, it's already installed for me, but if it's not installed for you guys, it's going to say Allow or Deny. Of course you want to allow it so it can install the drivers. Go ahead and allow it. It'll take a minute or so, and it'll finish with this screen right here, ready to use. Just simply click Finish. And now that's simply it, guys. You have your ADB drivers installed. And also make sure you go on your Nexus 6P or your Android device um, and go to your developer options. Now, if you don't know how to enable the de developer options, um, it's very simple. Just click your build number um, 10 times or 5 times until it says you're a developer. Just go to your about phone, click build number, and, then blah, and there you go. Go back, and it will give you another option saying developer options. Now, this is what you're going to have to enable. Just go on developer options, scroll down, and it will say Android debugging. Now, this is to use ADB um, so you can root your Android. Now, this is what you guys need. So, once you see Android debugging or just um, USB debugging, Enable that and it will say allow for this computer now check mark the allow for the computer and press ok so Now once that's done you can close your phone and just leave it there. We're going to come back to the computer and Simply just exit out of your full driver configuration because we already did that um, now This is really easy guys now you guys are wanting to get a check mark this custom recovery now, this custom recovery is going to give you the twerp, as you guys can see right there, TWRP. This is what you're going to need to flash any custom ROMs or um, any root files. So, you're going to need that. So, make sure to check that up. And once that's checked, you can simply go ahead and root. Now, I've already rooted, but I will show you the process. I'll just click it anyways. 
Now it's going to ask you to download plus update all fire file dependencies. Now simply go ahead and just click it. It's going to install the latest version of TWRP and the latest super SCU. Now it might say, um, simply cancel. Okay. One sec. Hit the main menu. Okay. This might be because, okay. Okay. It's your, um, hash check. I already have that garbage because, um, I've rooted already, but it'll install for you perfectly fine, guys. It's just because I'm already rooted, so that's why it's not going to work. But make sure um, to download your Super SU on the internet. Now this is now just go to your Google. Um, oh, my Google just activated there. Sorry. Now go to um, Google on your computer and type in um, what do we need? Oh, Super SU. Now this is what we're gonna need. You're gonna need the zip file. Make sure to get the super SU 2.70. Is it 2.78 or nine? Let me check, guys. One sec. Sorry. I think it's nine, but I could be wrong. So let me check on my phone real quick. Just so we don't have any problems in the process of rooting. So super SU, I'm gonna go to settings, and it is up to Where does it say? Sorry, guys. Um, it should say the version. Sorry. Oh, right here. Perfect. Two points. Uh, two point seventy nine. Super SU. There we go. So it's not two point seventy eight. Don't do not download that one. I will have this one download. I will have the download for the Super SU in the description. So go to that one. So just type. Uh, just go to Super SU. Um, 2.79 and then write zip. It's very important that you guys get the zip because you are, you guys are going to have to flash this onto your, um, phone. So I'm going to go ahead and download it. It's going to download real quick because I have fast internet. Um, so it shouldn't take long to download. Simply just drag that onto your desktop, minimize your browser, and we're going to want to go to the phone. Now, um, actually, when you're in your root, once your root is done, it's going to flash the TWRP, restart your phone, and it's going to um, root. Um, and also, why is my... Sorry, what's going on? Um, I don't know what's going on. Let's just exit out of that. Sorry, uh, what's going on? Oh, this is open, sorry. Okay. So another thing, guys, to unlock your bootloader, this is what you're going to need. Um, you already rooted, so that's okay. That's the first thing you needed to do is root. So you're done that, right? You got your TWRP and everything else. Now you are going to have to unroot for the root to actually work with your SuperSU and your um, mods, let's say, or your ROMs. So you'd simply click flash stock on root and now um, if it's on a, a bricked boot loop you click that it, and it will fix it 100 percent guys i promise you that but mine's on normal so we'd click normal and we'd flash the stock on root and then we would click ok it would do its thing it would say cleaning up cache or unpacking some stuff and it's gonna um open your phone automatically it's gonna open your phone to um the recovery mode asking you guys to unlock the bootloader now i'm warning you guys that this is going to wipe all your data your music um all the stuff on your phone your apps um cache everything internal storage so be sure to make a backup if you guys don't want to lose any of your stuff i don't mind losing my stuff so i don't really make backups um so i'm okay with that but make sure to make a backup if you guys don't want to lose your stuff so once you made that backup, go ahead and unroot and press that yes for bootloader to be unlocked. Once that is done, it's going to restart your phone um, three times. Once that's done, it's going to bring you to the home screen of fresh new start on your Android. And you are simply guys, you guys are simply done.
once that's done and you went through the setup of your phone, there's one last thing we need to do. We need to um, go to your computer and go to your phone. So my phone would be under Nexus 6P. I don't know why it's not showing up. Oh, yes, because you have to allow file files. So it's going to say on your phone, USB debugging connected. Uh, go ahead and just make it so it's transfer files. Now it's going to show up on my computer, as you guys just saw. And there it is. Click that internal shared storage. Now, as you guys can see, I have all my stuff here, Facebook, pictures, TWRP. Now, for this Super SU, simply just drag it in. I already have one, so I'm not going to drag it in. Um, I already have it. So that's basically it, guys. Drag it in. Go to your TWRP by... Um, powering off your phone, holding down the um, power power button and the volume down button at the same time while booting your device up. It'll bring the recovery mode. Click the power button to get into your TWRP and go ahead and flash the uh, Super SU file. That's basically it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope this helped you out. Have a great day, guys. Peace.